was a final reaction. You know, I enjoyed it. Thank you. 
naturally. When you go to you go to your house, your wife says that you But, but I 
Moses, you want to have a life of regret? Thank you. 
的是说你最有这样。也是。那我也是。哎，真的是有你这个是你。哈哈哈哈哈。啊，那是你哥。
Here we have an individual of a boy who is the true one, right? Runs out of school, goes out, and goes out there and picks up a fire, injures somebody, and they cause these problems to come around him. So, the issue is, when the boy left the campus to get into the community, he became a community member. That's it, right? Now, whatever he calls the hate has nothing to do with the school. It is his behavior, and that's the crime, wherever he was. Serious? Right. Now, as a school, they have an obligation to protect this boy, right? By bringing all these things. You shouldn't jump out of camera, to roses, and all sorts of things, counseling and stuff like that, right? Now, this is how we apply the actual. These are theoretical issues, right? But the real case that takes place this time in the Jewish. Of course, uh, see, we are just starting today. It's very rudimentary, but I can get that you have some idea of what we mean when we talk about protective, preventive, and things like that. Right? Yes. Here we did about adding something like the promotion model. Also, as a function of social economics. How do you promote? Right? The headmaster is promoting peace with the community by mediating. To apologize on behalf of the boy to the community, right? So that promoting that peace. Because that peace in the community, then even the school will be a peace Right? So you can see how you can apply these things straight into a uh, practice when you get up there. That makes sense now, right? Today we are just beginning, but we are going to have quite a lot of these things so that when you finally finish, you should be able to see how these things are to apply in practice. And it happened to me, it happened that 
all those people who are who who used to know when they call you guy as a good boy, as a as a as a guy who's very intelligent and who's very respectful. So I'm still wondering like what happened to this guy? Like he didn't teach you like people you are coming here and good great, what's happening? What what's up with you? And the teachers finally um plant on uh Calling the parents to ask of the of the guy of the people of the school, school person. So, but then the parents are like, oh, that's not our child. That's not how we look at God. That's not how we look at God. You want to see that person. So maybe here you have to you have to know you have to, to find more about the strength because it has to come from the strength. Be a fresh organ for the father. So uh, these teachers. This lecture is whatever, and they plan to be, they tell them to take shit. They should advise to all of you and counseling her. Showing to all of you to the right way. Showing to all of you to be like the way he was before. He was like this boy. He was very intelligent to his former school. So what's up now? You know he can do this and that. And you also, you can have the choice of friends. You know you can choose good friends. And you can choose people who are, you can choose students. Different people who are intelligent and who are going harder. And to one thing happened, it happened that he, he listened to that Bible and he went back to how he was. He was now a good, a good student, who was passed with good grades, very incredible, very brilliant. Thank you. Now, you are talking about It's very functional. So we talk about restoration function. There are two types, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about something which cures, the curative, and we had the test. Which one of those applies to your case? Like my case? Mm -hmm. The first one, the test. Okay. The organization and the building or restoration of form and social function. That's what that happened to school. Yeah. School is going to work. Right? And it was brought back to start functioning as it should be. Yeah. So that is the restorative part of social work practice and the being the goddess of rehabilitation. And if you go further, the fact that the, even in the country here, like I mentioned about the law that deals with issues of children, right? It provides for the rehabilitation of who are their way away behaviors. You have to avoid a lot of member in the center to reform, right? Which I think uh, also uh, is mentioned here. And also, you have the Chirua uh, reform center. Right? Yeah. And you have the Chirua reform center. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good. Um, I'm actually I'm presenting on um, the uh, support team. Okay. Yes, the support team. What about support team? What is it? Or provision of resources support team. Yeah. Well, that's it. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, uh, this uh, let's say uh, Mulan district has been affected by uh, floods, and uh, there is this Eric NGO which uh, gathered uh, the some of the resources uh, to go and uh, support uh, the people who have been uh, who have been affected by. These resources are uh, in terms of materials which they, uh, the Eric Foundation provided. Uh, the so that's the foundation. Yes. Okay, go ahead. It's that's a good one. <laughs> so they went there uh, and uh, gathered the resources. They provided some basic things such as food, water, uh, food, some. Uh, uh, rebuilding of the shelters which were being washed away by the water. So uh, that's uh, one of the uh, the provision of the shelters. That's the first case study. And another case study is about uh, a certain young lady uh, who is called Terry. Uh, she was uh, being uh, harassed by, by uh, her boss when she was working at the same company. So that uh, lady, Terry, this is Terry, had uh, no one to support, like in order they can pursue the boss to the court. So uh, a state organization which fight for the rights of women went in and give the support, like they found a lawyer for that uh, for well, that lady, this is Eta, Mrs. Terry, and at, at the end of the day, uh, the justice of being uh, revealed and that she was being uh, assisted. Thank you. So, which one of these are you using? The uh, provision of resources and support. Okay. How about if you use <coughs> protection? So, in such a way, you have so many ways in which you can help an individual. That's what must bear in mind. It all depends on one, the situation in which you are dealing with that individual. Number two, the nature and type of the case that individual is afflicted or faced And also, the level of your knowledge on how you can use, how you can apply these uh, techniques to help them. That's clear. So you can see now. He's dead. You can use quite a lot of those things. I mentioned it's protection, right? Yeah. Which is still for the people to the same area of uh, provision of safety for that. It's essential that you provide to protect that individual. If you bring in a lawyer, it's a protective measure just like to. No, it's a reason. Because you're going to pay for that, right? Yeah. It means you are protecting that one by providing that type of resource. All right. Grab for the three No, it's a point. Yeah. So this is how we will eventually be looking at our social practice, so that eventually we should be able to understand uh, the theory or the theory of points that we will be using in class. And also, what you can use when really it gets out into actual practice in the table. This is what it is. Now, if I have to create another situation, where would you As you walk along the street, can you create a situation of somebody who finds in the streets and says, I think this one, I can intervene as a social worker? Is it possible? You think I find somebody, just walk from me to Guadiro, 18, uh, Marangaranga, can you pick up somebody and you think that an individual? I think this individual needs social intervention. It's possible. But better of those. One of them will be. Let's speak.